Hi, uh, this is Wally Bit. This uh, video is in response to the tip that I uh, shared with the uh, uh, weapon collector, and uh, uh, it's about the, the uh, secret compartment in the end of your uh, gun. Be back in a few seconds to show you exactly what I'm going to talk about. Uh, this is the standard 12 gauge shotgun. This is a pretty old Remington. Um, basically, what I'm going to do with this today uh, is just show you how to create a uh, secret compartment right here um, in the back of the stock, in the butt section. Um, and as you can tell, there's uh, like a plastic piece here, uh, and it has two screws, and those are to remove it. Okay, just back in a second and I'll have it removed and I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay, this is me uh, removing the uh, uh, cap on this stock of the gun, the butt section. Uh, just two simple screws. Um, and what I've done uh, here is, I'm just going to take out these pieces here that I've stuck in there. I'll show you those later. But uh, what I've done is I've drilled a slot into the end of the gun. Um, where I could store extra ammo, um, some mini survival things, and uh, whatever you'd like to put in there. Some You can put some cash in there in a little Ziploc container, or a Ziploc baggie I should say. And uh, that check in and we'll go through what I stick in the end of my uh, shotgun when I go hunting. I'm back and this is uh, some snare wire uh, that uh, is perfect for about, I uh, say, 10 snares uh, to put in the back of my shotgun. I also have with me some tinder material and matches. Uh, I put in a little, little ziplock baggie. Um, we have some dryer lint and we also have um, some uh, sawdust that is uh, contains some paraffin wax and some uh, fire starter. Um, I have a bag of regular any strike matches and, uh, and a little emery pad or board where you can strike the match on, just in case I can't find anything suitable to uh, strike a match on. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick that into my slot, bunch it up, and just make sure that it sits comfortably. I'm going to leave the tab out because um, that'll be where I can haul it out. And there, the butt section will cover that up anyway, so you don't really have to worry about that. And then also I'm going to stick my snare wire in. And, uh, and just bend that over like I like again. So it all sits in perfectly. And put your cap back on. And you wouldn't even know that anything has been done. And it's there at your disposal. Um, it's great if you, uh, you're probably asking, well, I don't carry a screwdriver with me in the woods, but um, if you have a multi-tool, and I'll just show you my Leatherman, um, it's great because there's a, already a Phillips screwdriver or a straight screwdriver already in there that you can actually use to, 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 re to remove the screws. Um, or even a pocket knife would be able to remove these screws. They're not very tight. You can probably haul them out, no problem. That's my tip. Thanks a lot for watching. Any comments, I'd be I'd appreciate. Thank you very kindly.